Besides having to sing and dance at Euro Disney, I even got a date for the day. 11-year-old Sébastien Lugui. Mm. It's the first time at Euro Disney for him and for me too. To me, Sébastien is special because he's such a friendly, funny, kind boy. Even though he has plenty of reason to be mean and angry. Back home in the village of morsan sur orge south of Paris, Sébastien's life hasn't been easy. After a long illness, his parents died last year. Facing life on the streets, Sébastien and his sister were taken in by his grandparents and moved into this low-income housing project. His grandfather says Sébastien still hasn't gotten over the loss. In the beginning, even though his mother had died, he continued writing notes. I love you, mommy. He just had this need of writing notes. Money is very scarce. Sébastien's grandmother fears she won't be able to support them. I worry I won't be around to care for the children, because I'm already old. Even though he doesn't have enough for himself, Sébastien is known as a generous boy, given his things to other children in need. He's very nice, a little bit too much, because he keeps a lot of his own clothes and his own belongings. It's not wrong to be good to us, but I think it's too much for him, because he tends to give a lot to them. The only thing he cares about for himself? Football. His dream is to be a professional soccer player, a tough goal to make. But Sebastian isn't easy to discourage. Another dream was to visit Euro Disney. For a lot of children, this is a dream. Euro Disney, they talk so much about it. It becomes as big as a mountain. As big as a mountain is a French saying. It means an impossible dream. Too big to reach, but too hard to resist. I asked Sebastien if he was tired. <laughs> of course not. We're off to find more adventure. Well, Sebastien made it to this mountain. And I think he's got what it takes to reach many more impossible dreams.